Well, hello there. It is your lovely host here. It is Team Rai Rai. Viewers, how are you doing on a spectacular Wednesday's edition? I'm doing getting better each day. If you watched the video from yesterday, thank you very much for understanding this. I will get better. It's just a horrible um, allergy. It sucks, so I did not get punched. It's just a freak accident, and it happens, you know? So, thank God for medicine. I took my medicine earlier today. I took my medicine right before I made this video. It's just a long process, so bear with me, okay? Thank you for the support. Now, hit that notification, hit the subscribe, share it with your friends, or whoever loves wrestling. The article will be down below for sure. And please check out my paper reviews, predictions, and my review. I really appreciate it. I just uploaded um, Stomping Grounds not too long ago, the review. Now, it is time to get this video started, and I will discuss wrestling news, wrestling topics, and a lot of awesome information to discuss for you. So sit back, relax, be a feed up, grab some eat, grab some drink. Now, if you don't do it like that, maybe you want to like a villain and hear my thoughts, my opinions on a certain, sorry, on a subject, and of course, the article will be down below. Let's roll this. Now, this past money was a very shocking person made his made his comeback. Well, not a comeback, but a very rare appearance. It is the one, the only, the WWE Future Hall of Famer, the Dead Man, the Undertaker. Very weird that he was there on Monday night to help out one of his opponents at WrestleMania, Roman Reigns. Now, they're going to join forces for the first time versus Drew McIntyre at, sorry, Drew McIntyre versus Shane O'Mac at Extreme Rules. Less than, what, three weeks away? It's not really a great build-up, but whatever. Um, this is 2019, and we are still seeing The Undertaker on television. You know, he did not compete whatsoever at Mania 35. Maybe because he was not fully healthy, or maybe WWE had no plan for him at the time. Who knows? I think WWE just had no plan for him. He was there, but as a fan. That is a good thing, you know? It just felt weird he wasn't there. I mean, competing, you know? I'm just drinking water, okay? Just, you guys were curious. Okay, I'm just going to skip this last part. The first part, the second part, according to a re, re, report by Brad Sherman on Oh, we didn't know, he was told by his source in W that the Undertaker has appeared, handpicked his WrestleMania 36 opponent. You won't believe who he picked. It is the one, the only Drew McIntyre. Really? Why? Why him? No one does not give a crap about Drew McIntyre. It's not like a, a marquee matchup for Mania. Now, last year, no one did not give a crap about Barry and Corbin versus Kurt Angle. A lot of people were very, very disappointed. I was. I prefer a Kurt Angle versus someone worthy to face Kurt Angle. Of course, that never happened. I am not a big fan of Barry and Corbin. Now, I heard from a grapevine... From one of these sources, the reason he's gonna push is not because his wrestling skills, he don't have that whatsoever, is it because his looks. All the ladies like him. I don't know if that's really true. That's not really cool, WWE, really. So, does that mean, is that why Roman Reigns gets this major push? Because his looks? Or is he really that good a wrestler? Leave a comment down below, okay? Push the guys who really deserves a push, okay? Not the ones who has good looking, okay? That's not really fair for the wrestlers, female or the male, work their butts off. But this company treats 
certain wrestlers differently, you know. Um, Charlotte Flair, she's beautiful and she's a very good wrestler and she's very overrated in my opinion. We all know eventually she, she's sorry, she's going to break her dad's record. If John Cena tied it, Charlotte Flair is going to break it before her career is over with the WWE. I am not a fan of WWE's doing that. I'm not a fan of Roman. If these young whippersnappers know what I'm talking about, then you guys get drift, but you just start watching wrestling since probably you were born. So you guys know know the back story of why W pushed these certain wrestlers like John Cena. Was he really that good? Maybe, maybe not. In 07, he was Mr. Super Cena. Or is it always he dominated everyone in this on this on this in this path. And that really kinda of pissed me off. There's a lot of guys in my opinion deserves be the main guy back in the day, but of course W does not feel that way, you know. Okay, a little flashback. Oh manga. He was a beast. He was awesome. And then when he faced John Cena, he he snapped his winning streak and that was it for his um, being on top. It's the same thing for um, Russo. He was on. He was undefeated, undefeated a couple years ago at WrestleMania 31, or heading to WrestleMania 31. When he faced John Cena, that was it. Same thing for Bray Wyatt. When Bray Wyatt faced John Cena, that was it. You know what I'm saying? So John Cena always got buried with young guys. He did the same thing for Nexus in 2010. That still pissing me off. I, I know, I know, it's old topics, but still. If you just started wrestling, watching wrestling, you'd be pissed off too. If you had the W Network and you want to look back at it, why is John Cena be these young whippersnappers? You know, it's stupid, you know? He must have really kissed some, kiss some major butt behind. I know he's a good worker, you know, the gym and his work ability, but let the other guys get beat. Let the other guys need to win too. That's what I'm trying to say. So... Drew McIntyre for his taker at WrestleMania 36. Mm, I don't feel it. No, no. It's not a marquee matchup. That's not going to sell out WrestleMania 36. Probably be in other matches. Taker needs to retire for crying out loud. How many times do I got to say that? You know? He don't need to keep wrestling. I'm assuming that McMahon offered him tons of money to keep making the rare appearances. Now, that was awesome that he would make a, a rare appearance this past Monday, and he's now going to team up with Roman Reigns. I don't know if he's going to have a stipulation for extreme rules, or is it just going to be a, a tag team match. Hopefully, it's be a um, a stipulation for extreme rules. I think that's the first time in a long time that Taker appeared and competed at... Re sorry, not WrestleMania, at extreme rules. I think this is the first time in a long time he had competed at... Um, Extreme Rules and Russell, I think. Let me know down below. When was the last time? Was it 2009, I think? I think. He used to, back in the day, he used to wrestle every freaking pay-per-view then. He was a part-timer then. He's a legend. A legend means whenever they need him. <laughs> I don't know. There's other stuff you could do. I'm sorry, I'm scratching. I shouldn't do that. Bad me. Um, okay, um... Sorry, I just hit my table. That's not good. So, let me know your honest opinion on this article. You know, do we really need to see the taker in 2020? Really? He should be hung up already. Be in the Hall of Fame. I know McMahon loves him. You know, he's a great worker and he never... He's on good terms with the... You know what I'm saying? But... That's why I probably didn't need a young guy... To carry the match. If they have two old guys like they did not that long ago, Super Showdown, Taker versus Goldberg, that match was a train wreck. But if you have one old guy versus one young guy, maybe that match will work. We'll find out. Now, the Taker versus CM Punk, that match was awesome. That match, that that meant mania, that should be the main event. But I don't book this stuff. I'm just a fan like everyone else is. Everyone out there, have a good one. Like, subscribe, leave a comment, hit the notification. Hit the subscribe. All the other information will be down below. Hit the notification. Hit the subscribe. However you feel about it. Leave a positive feedback about the article. Hit the like button. And that wraps it up. And I'm sorry if I repeat myself like a broken record. Later.